stare out the window, wash clothes, drink tea. You know, I'm an Englishman. How many times have you been on the road for a it, hour? it goes in phases, you know, I'll have, I mean, at the moment I'm in a very intensive phase where I've been touring in England and I flew here yesterday and I fly to Switzerland tomorrow and then I'm back in England gigging, you know, so at the moment it's very intensive, but I had at the beginning of the year, you know, a month or two off, so it kind of, you know, goes in waves, hmm. yeah. And what do you do in the time that you have some yeah, time off? Um, wash clothes, <laughs> stare out the window, um, you know, live, a, live a, you know, a fairly, you know, normal life and drink tea. You know, I'm an Englishman. Mm. I'm drinking Coke today, folks, but, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so just, just chill out in South London. Okay. Because yeah. do you have other maybe hobbies uh, besides your music to, to keep the things separated? Or? I, yeah, I, I, um, yeah, I mean, I'm into... You know, I read, I listen to music, you know, I um, sometimes not always my genre. I listen to jazz, I like classical music as well. So it's not, sometimes it's really nice to listen to things outside of your genre and kind of not be so analytical about them and just appreciate them on a different level. Um, I'm kind of interested in politics. Um, so I, di I dip into that. And in what way are you interested in politics? The Doing it yourself or reading about it? <laughs> yeah, vote. Vote for me. Mm. Um, I don't know, I've, I suppose I've always been in a family that have always been a very disgusting family and, and debating about stuff. So I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I suppose I'll, I take an interest in various things. But the thing about politics is it's kind of like an onion that you keep on peeling and the more layers, the more complicated it gets, the more layers there are, you know, so... But, yeah, I'm kind of, you know, so I, that's what I'm into, <laughs> yeah. Ambitions in politics, or? Um, I don't think I make a very good politician because I'm just not, I'm not a diplomat, I'm not able to be diplomatic, so I get frustrated with it because you've got to, you know, politics is like moving a very enormous stone very slowly. You know, people kind of, you know, Barack Obama will come along and say, believe the dream, we can all do this, and then, the enormous rock will get moved a couple of centimetres in the right direction, you know. So it's all about, you know, they say it's the, um, the politics of the possible, do you know what I mean? So it's, I don't know if I could deal with that, with that level of slowness, you know. At least with what I do, I can write a song and I could record it that day and I can, you know, I can see the fruits of my labours. Whereas it's a, um, yeah, it's all very uh, political mm. <laughs> politics. <laughs> Maybe you can do it in your songs. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. But I can imagine that uh, in, the, in the music industry itself, uh, there's also a lot of politics involved. Or is it, isn't so. that the case for you? Or there is, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, there's bureaucracy and there's politics in any, in any organisation, isn't there? I mean, yeah, there's, um, yeah, there's a hierarchy. There's, it's, it's, there's a lot of bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit in a lot of the arts, you know, generally. Um, but... You've just got to sort of maintain your, your focus, I suppose, and stick. To, to try and remember what you're doing it for and try and, you know, not get sucked in, if you like, to the, to the bullshit. Hmm. Um, Do you have an example of some bullshit you encountered for, this, uh, for maybe this new album or maybe more in, into the past? I think it's just in terms of... I think the frustrating thing about the mainstream is that there is stuff that is rubbish that gets money spent on it, you know, and it's, it needn't have to be that way. You know, there is, there is good stuff out there. So it just feels like, I don't know, the people that are make, you know, the chase makers, you know, are making poor choices and they're shortchanging kids, you know, these days, you know. I mean, the kids, you know, like whatever, teenagers and stuff, they're malleable, you know. It sounds awful, but they're kind of a, they're susceptible, you know, in the market. And they, I think they get, you know, fed crap too much, you know. And, yeah, I mean, pop music's always been rubbish, a lot of, you know, even in the 60s, you know, there was always rubbish out there. But at least, you know, for every cheesy thing, there was a Jimi Hendrix or something like that. You know, it's kind of, I don't know, it could be better. The X Factor thing doesn't help. No.